What's up guys, this is Trey with Smart Home Starter. Today we're gonna do a quick video on why you might be getting the message, message, is, message blocking is active. Uh, so there's a few reasons that may be causing this. The first one is pretty simple. If you have the person you're trying to reach out to blocked, you can sometimes get this message. Whether that's on purpose or an accident, you wanna check their, their uh, their contacts go to the bottom and you'll see if they're if they're blocked or unblocked. I'll do a walkthrough at the end of this video. Um, another issue, maybe your, your phone just needs to be restarted. Um, I went through a lot of forums to kind of identify what people were having issues with and a lot of them said that a, a one restart or maybe two restarts uh, did help them to make sure they weren't seeing those issues. Uh, I did also see that there was issues with people that had Mint Mobile. I'm not sure if that's still a thing. I have T-Mobile personally, but it was a carrier-wide incident that everybody was seeing those messages. So while that's probably not gonna happen too often, it does still happen. So it's definitely something you can look into um, if, you're, if you're seeing this message. Now, another thing you can also look into is updating your iPhone. Sometimes when our phones need to update, they act a little bit weird and that could be throwing the message. I'll also walk through how to do this at the end of the video. Now, the last thing you want to take a look at, if nothing else before this worked, is your SIM card. Sometimes they are defective. Maybe it was recently damaged and that could be causing problems. Um, if your SIM card is in rough shape, just reach out to your carrier, get a replacement. Um, maybe they'll give it to you free if you haven't uh, updated in a while, but you might have to pay for that. Uh, but with that, let's jump into how to one, unblock somebody, and two, uh, uh, check your phone for updates. All right, so the first thing we're going to need to check is uh, we're going to make sure that the person that we're trying to text or we're getting the message from on our side isn't blocked. So. Uh, how we do that is open up that contact and then you're going to scroll to the bottom and you'll see unblock this caller. So I'm going to click this and now if that caller or that person was blocked on my end, this should help fix the problem. So pretty easy fix there. Now, the next thing we're going to check and make sure is all good is our um, our check for updates. So uh, this is my phone. <laughs> Don't mind my 366 text messages. Jeez. But anyways, we're going to go to the settings and then from settings, we're going to just scroll down. Man, it looks like I need to clean this out. That's crazy. Uh, we're going to go down to general. And then in general, we'll select software update. Now I have automatic updates on, but for some reason this one has not automatically updated, but I do have an update. So, um, you know, if this is the case for you as well, go ahead and push that update and um, see if it helps. Now I'm going to do this later because I still need my phone. Um, but this should, if it's not one of the issues that we've talked about uh, today, then I, I don't know, you might have to reach out directly to your carrier and ask what's going on. Cause uh, from the research that I've done, that should solve about 99% of the issues. Um, well, unless it's a an, an carrier out, it's just in which case you gotta wait for them to solve their own issues. But with that, you know, I hope that helps and uh, do me a favor, like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments if it worked for you and we will see you next time. See ya.